Hi, Sandra Lemming from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Just here today with another um, simple little easy tip. A lot, of, a lot of you may know this tip. Then again, a lot of you may be new to being online with a computer, being on the internet, and you may not know this tip. Okay, so you're on the internet, you're scrolling around, and you know you find things that you like and you want to share them. So say you're on a, on a website like this and you've been reading the blog and you're on the blog post there and you really like the blog post. Um, now, you know, a lot of websites, as you can see, will have share buttons. They'll have them either up the top or down the bottom or, as in this case, both up the top of the blog post and down the bottom of the blog post. Now, you know, if you come across an article that you read online and you like it, let the website owner know that you like that article. So scroll to the bottom of the article and leave the website owner a comment. Um, it doesn't have to be long, just a short comment in your own words, just to let them know you've been there and you enjoyed their article. Then you want to share the article where you can click on the share buttons and that will share to the relevant places if you click on those and if you're like me and you really love things like Pinterest you'll have up in your um, Google extensions uh, your Google browser you'll have extensions like you know this share extension here the shareaholic extension and this Pinterest pin it um, extension and the great thing about that is if I come across something that I want to share that doesn't have share buttons I can click on pin it and I can easily share it on pin Pinterest uh, when I scroll scroll over nice images like this one here I can pin it I scroll to the top of the page I can pin this uh, pin this here as well so I can just click on the pin it button and that will take me to Pinterest and I can pin it on whatever board I want okay um, so that's you know that's the most simplest way and the way that everybody's used to sharing but what um, there is another way you can share uh, say you you know you don't want to do that and there's a particular place you want to share that too that you know the share buttons or the pin it button doesn't cover what you can do is uh, you can click beside the URL in the top search bar. Just you know, make sure in the URL it includes the website name and the name of what you want to share. So I'm sharing this blog post, and there it has One Stop Allo Shop, and it has the name of the blog post. Now I've clicked and highlighted that. So what I you know what I can do now is I can right click on that, and I can copy. And once I copy that URL, I can go anywhere. I can go over to Google. I can go anywhere and I can share that. So, you know, if I want, I can, you know, go over to my Google Plus and I can click in here. You know, I can click on link and I can, you know, click here and I can paste it. And the link will, you know, Google Plus will draw from that link that I've shared. And there you go, the link is there and I can say something about that and post it up to Google+. But what happens when you come across a website that has no share buttons? Well, you can do the same thing. Just make sure that in the title, the blog is in the title. So you'll go up here and you'll highlight this and you'll copy, right, click and you'll copy that and you'll go to where you want to share it. And, you know, um, you'll do the same thing. I'm as you can see, I'm on a business page, hit my business page here. I'll click there and I can click there and I can paste that and that will draw from that website and put together a little post here. There we go, there's a little post and it pulls in a picture and then I can, you know, choose the circles I want to share with and I can post that. I would like to, you know, write something about that, but I'll keep this video short. Um, and you can do the same thing on Facebook. If you've, you know, as long as you've copied the link, you can paste the link anywhere. You can paste it on your home feed and it should draw from that website. takes a minute on Facebook. Sometimes it doesn't draw a very good picture on on Facebook, but that's okay. You've got a uh, choice here on Facebook to choose images. So you can choose the image you want. When you're happy with the image that you have, you know, like this one here, you'll you might write a little bit above this or below this. Or you can even delete this. And then write your status and then click post. 
So that's an easy way to share when you don't have share buttons and you come across something that doesn't, doesn't have share buttons. Just copy and paste the link anywhere you like, um, Twitter, Facebook, um, wherever, and then other people will be able to follow that link. This is, you know, see, you didn't just post the link. There you go. So people can click on that link and it will take them to that article. So I hope that's uh, been of help to some of you. If there's no share buttons or you want to share something that doesn't have the ability for share buttons or you want to share it somewhere in a group and your share buttons aren't taking you into the group, just, uh, you know, just copy your link up the top and paste it um, anywhere you wish and that's how you share. Have a great day. Bye for now.